We kind of forget what an mm. absolute daytime institution you were at that time, in the sort of 90s and, and noughties, as it were. Well, you know, were you aware that you were sort of changing the face of daytime TV? No. You just that doing your I? thing? <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, yeah, I was just doing my thing. I loved doing it. I'd done it for a little bit in Australia. Um, and then after England, of course, I did it in the US. I had my talk show there. I just love talking to people. Well, it was fantastic, but please, can we talk about the new man? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. Because you want some Enough tips. Enough of that. I need tips. <laughs> I need what? Yeah. Tips. Oh, oh, I tips. don't need them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is she? Yeah. She's oh, and you know what you should do? Here's Isn't the thing. <laughs> All right. I could tell you so many scary dating stories, but when Don't. when I go running in the park, that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, if you walk briskly yeah. Yeah. and look healthy and happy, you get all the older guys chatting you up and giving you a wink. And my girlfriend reckons that they're looking for someone who can nurse them through the latter years. <laughs> so if you look like you've got a bit of a spring in your step, it's like, she's got a heart rate. Yeah, got, yeah, yeah she's, she's still alive. She's still alive. So they're looking for carers. That's not really what you look for. No. Really. No. no. No, I didn't like me. Yeah. Because you weren't looking, were you? You just got to I the was... point where you thought, you know, I'm all right on my own. I, yeah, I decided I was all right on my own. And, and to be honest, I mean, at that time I was... What, 59? I'm nearly 62 now, but at that stage I was 59. Wow. And um, you definitely have a picture in an attic somewhere. Mm -hmm. You <laughs> look amazing. <laughs> but um, I, I really thought, I mean, I was in such a mess after mm. my divorce. I really thought that, okay, that's it. You know, you're not, you're, you're, you're not going to be um, with anyone in, uh, again. And I think something to really look at, and, and that's not spoken about, at that age, when you look at guys and what have you, it's not like young people, like, ooh, I can't wait for this. You're thinking, oh, you know, and post-breast cancer and everything else, my confidence was really knocked. And um, the other thing is you're thinking about whoever I meet, if I meet someone, they might be the person who sees me to the end of my days, mm. you know? And do I want a load of rubbish and hassle Baggage. and all that, yeah, and, and the A loo man with problems. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Because a lid left up, yeah. you know, and uh, my dying breath, I have to thing? call and close isn't it. The other please, thing? please, please. Colleen is getting very stressed out now. What? Please, but but also, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I came to cheer you. Most my older men, when they look for another partner, they're choosing ones Much way younger. younger. So well, isn't that an, it's not exactly a level playing field. Well, well, hang on. You know, I I am the oldest girlfriend that hashtag boo, as I call it on Instagram. <laughs> is he he's, scary? No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm the oldest partner that he's ever had. But he says I'm the youngest with energy. Likewise, yeah. I've always dated or married men younger than me. Yeah. Never mm. again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Never again. Mm. So why are you keeping this one secret? Because you have mine. kept him very secret, mine. haven't you? Even when you post on Instagram, mine. you don't you don't show his picture, do you? No, you're not having just want to see him. No. <laughs> well, you His see friends. little bits of him on Instagram. Um, some of my really close friends have... <laughs> some of my really close friends... Like, I'm here with, uh, with um, Kate and she's seen him. Um, and You can't just... tell if he's got grey hair or not. Hang so on. what if he's got grey hair? I like no, grey I'm just hair. just asking. Why? Because... Well, I just like... What's it matter? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter at all, but you're showing little tantalising bits, a bit like Archie, um... What's it? Royal. And you... Royal Archie. Yeah. Royal, Royal Archie. Yeah. You're showing about as much of your partner as we're seeing of yeah, Archie. and so it should be. No, I just don't... You know, first of all, I was going through... I'd, I'd finished my divorce because I'm really old-fashioned. Even while I was separated, I'm one of those people... I, I won't cheat, I don't cheat, mm. and I wouldn't even... Even though we were separated, I would not date anybody or, or go past, you know, just a meal and being very mm. polite and no kissing or anything until I was actually divorced. Mm. So I, I... You know, and girlfriends kept trying to fix me up with these... Horror stories. <laughs> I mean, horror stories. I like what? a good horror story. Oh. 
<laughs> no, you don't. One guy sent to me, I never met him, my girlfriend said, oh, go get in contact with this guy. So I text him, hi, how are you? He texts back, oh, fine. Um, you might... I, and then I get this huge thing to download on my phone. I said, what the hell is this? He said, you might like to read through my company's fiscal report. Oh, God. You might go on page 62 and what they're doing in Singapore, Singapore particularly delightful. Oh, no. So I was like... I can see why you went off dating. Good <laughs> I mean, that, that was a good story, but... Yeah. Hashtag Boo and I were both invited to a horsey ball. I haven't horse ridden for years, neither has he. My girlfriend had set him up with another woman and I kept saying to him, have a nice life, love. You want to see what you're set up with? <laughs> and I was just laughing and messing around with him. And we got dancing and he, he, he gave me a ride, a lift home. <laughs> <laughs> Did he come on? Maybe he came on his horse. It was a, it was a horsing event. I don't know what you're thinking of. <laughs> Your mind's washed out. <laughs> but he gave me a, a lift <laughs> home and he... I thought he'd accidentally taken my goodie bag. And I had this goodie bag, a really, really posh goodie bag, and I get this text uh, saying, I think I've got your goodie bag. So I look in there and I've got a month's worth of free tanning sessions. <laughs> <laughs> He's got sparkly nail polish. <laughs> so he said, I'll drop the bag off tomorrow. Nice. No, I was running. I was out running. I thought, let's see if you do. And he, he actually did drop it off. We got talking and we just laughed. He mm. makes me laugh That's so funny. much. Can I interject? Because we've only got 30 seconds or so left. He doesn't just make you laugh, Trisha. You found a whole different side to yourself that you did not know. <laughs> You smile. know what I'm saying. Uh, I wanted to answer this in a daytime-friendly sort of way. You, you have. You've discovered a new lease of life, shall we say? I, that's why she's <laughs> looking so good. But it's great that you can still be intimate. At, you know. Well, I hang have... on a minute. <laughs> no, no, I'm just I'm saying. I am 72. What do you imagine my life but is I like? Did I did <laughs> It's to be thing. subject, isn't Nobody, it? Well, you, I didn't... I thought I did have an intimate life before. Oh, but now I really do. Oh! <laughs> See, Janet, different degrees of it. Hello, How do you know what my sex life is like, Sarah? I've never no seen you idea. do that. <laughs> We're not all flaunting it. <laughs> <laughs> no, We're not, not all getting it either. 